So if you are writing this IPv4 address in the form of decimal dotted decimal notation and in binary notation we are going to write it in the form of 32 bits. This 32 bits we can just write it in the form of 4 octets. The very first octet okay, which consists of 8 bits and this will be the first byte here if you are writing in dotted decimal notation. Whatever is the number mentioned in the IP address, if it falls in the range of 0 to 127, then it is a class A address. This is your first thing to find out from what? Find out from a given IP address. Let us assume that uh, there is a problem statement which is uh, in which they have given uh, an IP address 64 randomly, I will take just 64.6.8.10 something like this. So this is an IP address given. Now for this you are like you have been asked to find out what is the network address or the first address, what is the broadcast address or the last address. So how are you going to begin? First as I said now this first byte is what in this case in this example 64, second byte is 6, third byte is 8 that is in the fourth octet you have the number 10. You are just going to observe what the very first byte here, which is 64. 64 lies in this range. So, you are going to say, yes, it is a class A address. And to determine the first address and the last address, you need to know the subnet mask. Fine. What, what do you mean by subnet mask? Subnet mask is a 32-bit number which is going to clearly give the distinguish, distinction between or it will distinguish clearly the IP, ad, IP address of the network part and the host part. So for each of these classes, class A, class B and class B, the subnet mask, the default subnet mask is there. And how do you decide or how, what is the value or what how do you write the subnet mask for each of these classes? Always remember for class A, since 8 bits are meant for the prefix part or the network part and 24 bits are meant for the host part. So this network part is always what? Once. Fine. And the remaining 24 bits will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Fine. So here this particular 32 bit number, if you are trying to convert it into decimal notation, it becomes 255.0.0.0. .0 .0. So this is the subnet, default subnet mask for the what? For the class A. Default subnet mask for the class A. With the help of this default subnet mask, you can determine the first address and the last address. How do you do that? Whatever address is given, first try to write it in the form of binary. That is, you are going to convert the dotted decimal notation into binary. So in this case, first byte is 64 here. Uh, in binary, you are going to write it no. So you will be writing 0, 1, 0, 0. Fine. The next is 6. Yes, this is 6 in binary. After that, you have 8. Then you have what the last byte, the last byte is 10. This is in the binary. This is what the given IP address. Now for this given IP address, you are going to perform what with this IP address, the bitwise and operation with, with the subnet mask. Default subnet mask is what 255.0.0.0. .0 .0. So this default mask, you are going to write it here. Then is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. The last decimal number is 0. So you are writing it in form. Now perform what? The logical AND. When you perform the logical AND operation, that is bitwise AND operation, what is that you are going to get? What is the resulting value? Just check here very simple. And, and if bit 1 ended with 1 is always 1. Otherwise, any other that is 0 ended with 1 or 1 ended with 0 is 0. So, in this case, you will be getting what? 
zero one zero 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 and here yes we don't have any one in this part so definitely all the bits will be bitwise and operation will result in zeros so this is the resulting answer now this part you convert it into dotted decimal notation this is 64 put one dot zero dot zero dot zero so this is how you got the what this whatever uh, uh, this one whatever uh, result you got out of this bitwise and operation th this becomes your first address or the network address you can say so to make you understand in a more simple manner i can just write that this party there was a network here for this network the network address is 64.0.0.0 and this is one of the host address in the network if this is 64.0. then there can be the very first address as 64.0.1 like this somewhere in between you will have what this address 64.6.8.10 so this was the ip address given in the problem statement so now you have found out what you have found out the network address you came to know that yes this particular host connection is in one particular network which is having the address 64.0.0 in this network like you have this first address or the network address there will be one more address that is the last address what is the last address in this network how to determine the last address for this you are once again making use of the subnet mask as I said earlier, subnet mask is a 32 bit number which will clearly distinguish between the IP address of the network part and the host part. So, the for class A it is 255.0.0.0. Now, what is the logic in order to get the last address here? Look at that subnet mask. Already you have uh, written, uh, uh, first you take the given IP address, then the logic for determining the last address or the broadcast address is take the uh, inverse of the subnet mask and perform the logical or operation so when you take the inverse for this log this is what this is the subnet mask so you are going to take the inverse of this inverse of this becomes what wherever is one you make it where you make it zero fine and wherever is zero you are going to write it as one so you are performing in one way you can say you are performing the not, not operation fine now you carry out what the logical or operation bitwise logical or so i shall write it here or now or operation is getting performed with what with the given IP, with the ip address and the subnet mask so just see or operation or operation is always what one zero bit odd with another zero bit is zero one bit odd with zero is one so you are writing one so like this if you carry out the first octet that is the first eight bits result in this value what about the next eight bits you can see here in this case zero is odd with one zero is odd with one so when uh, if you look into this you are you are going to get what four five six seven eight in the next octet also you are getting all ones here then what about here you can see all this bitwise or operation you will get one here the last octet yes all ones now you are going to convert this result into dotted decimal notation so the first one is what this part is the decimal value is 64 here the decimal value for this octet is how much 255 next this octet is 255 and you have the last octet value as 255 so this is the last address or you can call it as what broadcast address broadcast address so remember the first address and the last address are not assigned to any host so normally when a user request for an ip address 
it is seen that the first address definitely the first address will be the network address and broadcast address is also not assigned to any user and when does when is the broadcast address used suppose for this in this for this particular network now you saw that we have determined the last address also the last address in this network will be 64.255.255.255 so this address is also not assigned to any host now when does when is this address used suppose if an a, a person wants to send a data or message to all the users that are present in this network then the packet that is coming from this person will have the destination address has 64.255.255.255 that means there is this this particular message or packet will be received by all the hosts that are present in the network so that's the reason this is not at all given to any of the users so in this way you can determine what the last address now one more part in the uh, this particular concept you should know how many networks are possible in class a and how many hosts are possible in class a so very uh, the very first thing that comes to our mind is yes we always know that 8 bits are reserved for class a and 24 bits sorry 8 bits are reserved for the network and 24 bits are reserved for the host part this we know so definitely we think that yes 2 to the power of 8 256 networks are possible 2 to the power of 24 hosts are possible in each network but one thing you remember out of this 8 bits as i said the first bit 0 is fixed it indicates or it is an indication to which this particular ip address to which class this particular ip address belongs to so only you are left with what the remaining seven bits so two to the power of seven 128 networks are possible in class a similarly here two to the power of 24 you have to do minus two that many hosts are possible how many hosts are possible so we can say usable hosts are usable host in class a are 2 to the power of 24 minus 2 you are excluding two addresses here from the list definitely you have to exclude the first address is the network address you cannot assign to any host and the last address is the broadcast address that also you cannot assign to any host so this is how you have to analyze the things on the same basis you have to carry out for class b also so hopefully uh, maybe in the next uh, video lecture i'll try to explain class b addressing also with an example on the same grounds hope you people have understood this class a addressing concept thank you take care bye bye